name is Ryan Postel, co-founder of CodeStitch, and in this video we're going to go over the Freelancer upgrade, what that is, and what this My Stitches button does. So the Pro account has access to our entire library, the Figmas, dark mode styles for every stitch, the, basically everything we offer. And then the Freelancer upgrade has all of that, but it also gives you the ability to create your own personal component library of your own code and your own designs. That's what the My Stitches button here is. It's the toggle to go to your library to access your stitches. And this button takes you back to Code Stitch, our stitches. So you notice we have our full uh, catalog here. Our, our navigation has all of our sections. But when we click on the My Stitches, that is empty because you create it. Uh, if you haven't upgraded already, uh, this will just say welcome to uh, Freelancer to upgrade and has other information and a button to upgrade to just describe what this is so you know when you click here, oh, okay, this is for the Freelancer account and, and you learn about it. But we already did it for the purpose of this video. Uh, so we can toggle between Code Stitch and our library. So it just depends on what you want to use. Now let's go ahead and create a stitch. So the first thing we need to do is grab our display image, what, what's going to show when we're looking at it. Uh, so let's say we got this website here, just these two sections, and we like the way they look together because we got the wave and they kind of uh, flow together really nice. So we want to have this combo section that we can reuse ourselves. So let's go ahead and grab a screenshot, and we're going to use the Window key plus Shift and S. That will give us the Snip tool in Windows. And I'm just going to left click, drag and hold, and just grab as much as I can. And that should be good enough. Now that is saved to our clipboard. And as archaic and outdated as this seems, uh, I'm going to use Microsoft Paint. And we're going to paste, and that's good enough. I mean, you can use Photoshop or GIMP, whatever you want to use, but this is just, uh, it's good enough for pasting and saving. So let's go ahead and save this. And let's go to our, yeah, we got our images here. We don't want to save as a PNG, because uh, this is not a uh, couple color graphic. This is a full image. Now let's call this a preview. Yeah, why not? And let's go ahead and remove this. So let's go over here and create our stitch. Uh, we're going to hit this button, and it's going to pull up all of our options here. So we can give it a title. So this is a, uh, a hero plus services card. So we can call it uh, hero plus services. But no, we're not going to do that. We're going to call it three card because I want that to be the section type name. So right here, we have nothing. So let's add one. Let's call it uh, Hero plus Services. And hit OK. And we have no category yet, so let's add a new one. And let's just call it Free Card. And we're going to hit OK. And just to see options, let's add a new one. Let's call it Four Card. Because sometimes you have a four card. And now you can choose between three and four. Uh, this tags here is where you can add tags to your stitches so that you can search them and find them later. Maybe you have a lot of stitches that you made and you want to hurry up and find one. Well, we're going to just call this hero, uh, hero combo, whatever you want to choose. And this button will upload the display image. So when we click this, we just go to our preview image and upload that. And it doesn't matter how big it is. You don't have to optimize it or crop it or make it smaller because our system will do that for you. Even if it's 5,000 pixels wide, three megabytes big, our system will crop it to 800 pixels wide and it will compress it and then upload it to the system so that you are not waiting for dozens of stitch displays to load. Uh, that way, when they're, when they're so small, it takes maybe half a second for everything to load. Uh, that way, it, it optimizes your library so you're not waiting to see the displays. We took care of that for you. Uh, then we can add the Figma URL here. Maybe if you have a, a Figma of this design that you want to also copy and paste, you can add this here. And then we have our code. So by default, it has HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. If you need more, you just add additional code type. Uh, you can have React. Tailwind, Bootstrap, Note, whatever you want, you can add anything. So uh, I like to use less. We don't have less here, so let's just add it. 
And the code types that we have by default are the HTML, CSS, less SAS, and the dark versions with JavaScript. So we have a less here uh, as part of our default code styles. So I'm gonna select this and hit okay. At the bottom, here is my less code. Maybe I wanted to make a tailwind component. Uh, you can do that here. So let's just add a code type. Since it's not in our navigation, we can just add new code type and let's call this tailwind. And this is gonna be an HTML file because uh, that's how that works and create. And now we have tailwind down here. So you don't need any of this. You can just paste your tailwind HTML in here. Now you have your own personal tailwind component in your own personal library. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab this code here. Let's minimize this. So here's the hero and the service is HTML. Let's grab that and let's paste in the HTML block and let's get the less CSS here. And grab all this, copy, and then paste. Now, if you don't put anything in these empty boxes, they won't show up. Uh, it'll just basically discard them and you have to add them again if you go back to edit your stitch. So let's go ahead and create. And then you notice we have our hero and services, and then we have our uh, categories that you created, your three and your four. And these categories are in alphabetical numerical order. That way, if you add, uh, maybe you started with four card, and then you wanted to add a three card, well, it doesn't go four card, then three card, that doesn't look right. So our categories go by alphanumerical order so that if you create uh, a three card, category after a four card, it will just be at the top so that it's it's in a proper order. Uh, so we have the number count here that says how many are in each category, and it works just like code stitch, but you made it. And this is our created stitch. Uh, so we got the display here that we grabbed. We can look at this like, and say, okay, great, this is what I want to use. And you can click the button to get code, and this is all the code that you copy and pasted. So let's go back. Uh, let's say we wanted to edit it. We can hit this button and we can edit all of the settings just like we did before. Uh, except now you notice those code types are gone that we didn't use. Well, here, if you wanted to add one that you think you're missing, you can go ahead and add it. So let's just get out of there. Um, and let's go back to our dashboard and we can delete it if we wanted to. Well, let's just go ahead and, and in, in theory, let's just see how this works. So let's let's remove our code just to see it working save and save so now we have nothing and let, let's just zoom back in there we go so let's grab this stitch i'm going to get code let's see copy and then pull up the code here i'm just going to paste that and save grab my less code copy to clipboard and then go over here uh, make sure it's lined up right come on there we go and I'm going to paste and save. And what we can do here, since we, you, you don't want to collapse all these yourself, we highlight with control A, and then we collapse everything with control K and zero, and it collapses everything. It also collapses the comments. So just uncollapse your comments so that you know which section you're in. Uh, and then we minimize. And now we have it just, just like that. Uh, do remember that these images if you save your stitches uh, and reuse them because they're not using the same file paths uh, as the current project you're working on so this this was saved with let's say it was called uh, hero one for the for the image maybe you're working in a project that doesn't have hero one image inside your images folder so nothing will show up here uh, just know that that's going to happen because you don't have those images so you just have to go into your HTML and wherever you have the old image file paths, you just change it with the new ones that you're using for that project and it, and it will work. Uh, currently, we don't have a way to also save the images and save the file path. Uh, and it's just a little too much work to have to do that right now when you don't need it, because chances are whatever project you're using it in, it's going to change anyway. Uh, so we just, we don't have images saved with your stitches. It's just pure code. 
So just remember that when you do paste them in, that uh, if, you're, if you're missing any images and you're wondering, hey, where'd my images go? Well, you didn't save any images. You just saved the code that has the file path for those images, and you just have to update those file paths. Uh, and that's Freelancer.